Hello. Oh, oh, I'm Ben from the Brooklandian channel. This is our third video. And as you can see, it is the Cafe Colo, Lego's first modular. As you know, Lego's first modulars don't have anything on the inside. So, oh, me and my sister and my dad actually did the inside. So, the first floor, the Cafe Evie's design was. Second floor is my design. The third floor is it was my dad's design. The fourth floor was the nicest apartment. This this floor was the other part. I mean, hotel rooms. The other hotel rooms and the front desk were the hotel. And this is the. As you can see, we are. I'm just giving you a tour and see the whole video. And of course, this is off. So as you can see, for some reason, there's this weird cut here where it's. I don't know why they didn't do it all there, but as you can see, the bad side isn't actually that bad and isn't really ugly, just it's kind of dull and buff. So as, so we're back, I'll just move the minifigure so we can get to the, the, the actual building. Oh no, um, sorry about this. Um, it's fine, I just leave it aside. Yeah, okay. The minifigure is out. So... Over here are some outdoor tables, which we did not do. Here are two coffee cups, one of which is different. As you can see, these seats are just dubs and this. These tables actually only have over here, which looked, they look like they need the support over here, but they're fine. Also, for some reason, there's umbrellas under an awning. So as you can see, this, so speaking of the awning here, this awning which apparently is very loose and it's the design white, white, yellow, white, yellow, so on and so on. So you can see these are windows, but actually this one's a door which doesn't look like it. It's so yeah, that's a door going to the inside, oopsie. And the other door is the main entrance. For some reason that door's not in there. I don't know. As you can see there are stairways up to it, just standing that. And here are these lights, which are a cool design, I think. Yellow with things, they look very good. Now here's this jack on design, which I think is very cool, because it's like, makes that sense. Anyway, I think it's the Lego with. Up here is a big thing, which these are hockey pieces with a coffee cup to make the sign, which we all know. There's more elaborate designs. And on this side, we have just a bench for a bit, and of course, classic Lego light post. Here, are, here is a different kind of life. This is the door oh, to the hallway to go up to the other stories. And this design, dark way, what they don't, and yeah. as you can see, there's another door on this side. It's just those windows again, and a small one. And right here, we have these bricks sticking out, which are actually pretty cool design. I very much like this set. It has a lot of detail for like small and it will kind of be hard to see but oh I hope this is a good view of that hotel sign. So those are red sea from bricks which say hotel. I've seen that design actually building in my hometown. So on the second stone same design eats. What 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 I don't know why they changed from dark brown to this I I kind of tannish color but I as you can see these arched windows we decided that this hotel in my opinion and my family's opinion looks German so we made it the German hotel so as you can see this sticks out kind of medieval I I I this is a cool design and over here is this the same thing except well just as long because as you can see this is no more on this second stone. And we have the, basically the same design here except in different colors. And this tedious thing of both sticking out which creates a nice elaborate design. My mom's from Germany and I've been to Germany a lot so this really looks strong. So as you can see this is the dark it's the dark red and with nice windows which open and frogs on top and there's 
arches over it, which this creates this nice kind of scent. Same over there. And here's a design for kind of like a towel going up set with it to make it stand out with parrots all over it. And this design and this wool thing that was really in a million. So as you can see, I don't really need to explain anything on the other side because that's just the garbage can. Which has not which only has a few things in it. But yeah. So now let's move on to the interior. First things first we'll check the first floor. And this is my sister. As you can see here is the stairway up with a separate entity. Which had more pieces to it, but they well fell in there and I can't get them out. And this is the inside of my sister's cafe. As you can see, there are tables. My sister hasn't been put chairs yet. And here's the kitchen line for the kitchen and the checkout counter. Really can't go into detail there because I know nothing of it. All I know is that these are cool flowers. Also, the flowers. And they have coffee pots on them. And, well, I'll, I'll just try to go and design. There's a shell. Wait a minute. I think I used that shell for something. Let me explain the bottom floor. There are other things. Oh. Okay, Evie's going to come and explain the Evie's first gonna floor she did. Evie's going to explain the interior of the first floor because, well, that's her floor of the just floor. Stand right here. And just, you can reach in a point. Well, a lot of, a lot of this stuff. Well, you see, there in... Hey, where are the mini things? I don't know. So, um, as you can see, I have flowers on each table. A plate, a plate, a, and a coffee mug. Now, because uh, this is supposed to be German, people know a lot, a lot of the time have cake in Germany, so there's a little shelf with some cake on it, and there's a really tiny refrigerator, and I used a car though for the entrance, and I kind of made it a kitchen connected to the counter, and here's our chef, and there's the grill, That's okay. and as you can see, I kind of spreaded flowers around the cafe. Okay. There's a clam, some material, a pastry, and and some plates. And uh, as you can see, I spreaded flowers all around. And you know, this is this is a card of right here. Okay. Is that everything? Um, yeah. Okay, very cool. Okay, now, you're about to hear more from my brother. But now that was my sister explaining the first story. Now it's time to show you the second story. Okay, so here's uh, the inside. I, as you can see, I had to use, this is the floor I designed, so there goes up the stairs, and this is the actual counter where you check in. in and so as you can see, that's the thing where you write your name in and check. And that's where someone works. And as you can see, there are already two uh, uh, things here. This one is smaller and less expensive to go in. And it's also less fancy with its bed is unmade. Its TV is smaller and it has less space. So that one to end for children, 15 for grown -ups. Now this one is the nice one. As you can see, it's being occupied. It's actually... A 24 child, 54 grown up. And, I, and that's where you put your stuff. A nice bed. And which is covered, which I took. And that's supposed to be a TV with pizza and apparently a drink. Ink on the table. So, and as you can see, I had to use gray with these dolls. And the interior on this side is very nice. Except this, which I can't seem to get out of the way. And, well, as you can see. That the inside of these windows are a little in there, which I guess you put stuff on. But well, that's that story, and now we're moving on to the next story. So I'm gonna have my father explain because, well, he designed it. Okay. Okay. Well, Evie wanted first, you come up. Woo! 
Oh, there with the tower. <laughs> okay. You come up, that hole is where you come up in the stairs from the previous floor. And that is the maid's closet that stores a little vacuum and broom. So then you just walk in, and here is the... Uh, it's hard to see here. Here's uh, So that hole is where the stairs come up. So there's a couch. There's a desk where you look out through your window and look out on what's going to be a little Europe. You'll see the Eiffel Tower. You have a bed there that my daughter's made that's a quilt, made of many colors. It's her eclectic style, as we call it. She likes to mix and match colors. There's a big, huge pillow on there. There's a bathroom with a luxury bathtub. So again, you can take a bath while looking out on Little Europe, Bricklandia, the Eiffel Tower, etc. There's the bathroom and the other door. There's matching doors for the hotel. So that is the top floor, the the nicest room, the largest room in the city, in the uh, hotel cafe. All right, Ben, you want to wrap it up? Okay, so now we're going to have the good and the bad. First, the good. First of all, I like the whole design. It's all good. And actually, the good, the best thing is that this kind of just European classical, I think, medieval designs. Just a lot of, even though it doesn't have any detail on the inside, the inside walls are detailed. And it, its bad side is just bland and not terribly ugly. So, and now the bad. There's only one bad thing is that I wish... Don't know why they cut off this corner and I wish they had made more space in there. And so, yeah, well that's all for this one. It's a cafe corner. Bye!